This is Sirisha from Master of Business Administration, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. So in this session, I'm going to discuss about trading forecasting, capital budgeting and cash budgeting. So let's move on with the forecasting of the trade. So first of all, we must know what is a forecast. So forecasting means like this forecasting is really very, very uh, important because it plays a major role in the business. So one has to plan for everything before they do any of the activities in the business. So this uh, forecasting uh, will become uh, like a, a, a informed business decision making. This is very much useful for the business decision making. And uh, basically, all these financial forecasts are going to be just a guess. We are just expecting or predicting this has to be happened. So this is our expenditure. This is going to be our income. So we are just estimating what are the, our financial plans, what are the financial strategies, how much of income we are going to generate and how much of expenditure we are going to do for making a product or for conducting any of the service in the organization. So we generally see only this in, uh, in this uh, business and uh, here we see this forecasting is just we are predicting something on the budget. So uh, we do have uh, different uh, models like different techniques of uh, forecasting that is like quantitative methods and qualitative methods. So in quantitative methods, we generally see that uh, here the based on the previous uh, like uh, previous uh, data, like whatever, what are the sales of the company and uh, based on the sales of the company, we are predicting that the sales can be uh, enhanced in this year or the sales can be reduced this year. So whatever may be the thing. So we are just going to think about it. So here we generally see that uh, what is the amount of production we have to do and what is the demand is going to be created for the product. So this can be uh, like estimated through quantitative methods. Like based on the past data, we apply different methods like uh, it can be some trend analysis or based on trend analysis or it can be some estimates like uh, barometric technique or uh, we can take uh, uh, like uh, a regression analysis, correlation. So based on different statistical models, we are going to uh, predict what is the sales or what is the production uh, or what is the expenditure or what is the income of the uh, for the organization. So now coming to the uh, qualitative methods, coming to this qualitative methods, like this is not based on the data, on the previous data. So this is based on the, uh, like uh, based on the person, like expertized person in that particular field. Okay. So for that, we consider uh, like uh, expert opinion method. This is also one of the method in the statistical forecasting. So here in this statistical forecasting, so qualitative methods are like one is going to comment about the organization stating that this can be the sales or he himself uh, predicts like uh, this can be the sales or this has to be the production. This has to be the uh, like a plan of action. So one is going to suggest, like uh, we generally uh, see televisions, right? So in television, uh, like uh, in the morning when we uh, like uh, when we uh, go to uh, like CNN, IBN or NDTV and all. So there all the time the stocks will be uh, raising or falling down like uh, share values are going up and share val values are coming down. So we see all this uh, type of information in these uh, channels, right? So how they are like, uh, and uh, on the other part, like someone will comment that this, uh, the uh, sales or the 
लाइक सेंसेक्स इज गोइंग टू राइज टूडे और सेंसेक्स इज गोइंग टू फॉल डाउन टूडे सो सम एक्सपेक्ट्स विल बी एक्सपर्ट्स विल बी स्पीकिंग ऑन दैट बिकॉज बेस्ड ऑन देयर एक्सपीरियंसेस बेस्ड ऑन द नॉलेज विच दे हैव और बेस्ड ऑन दॉटर वॉट आर द सर्कमस्टेंसेस अराउंड दैट लाइक इंक्रीज ऑफ द लाइक इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज ऑफ द सेंसेक्स is uh, commented by these experts so just like that in production also uh, like uh, we do have many uh, marketing marketers and uh, marketing experts or financial experts or many experts they can contribute their ideas with the organization so that that can be uh, like considered for forecasting this type of method we uh, we call it as a qualitative method so one must uh, really uh, one must have a forecasting for any of the businesses to take the better decisions uh, to improvise the business and to have better uh, uh, profits into their uh, like uh, into the uh, pockets of the organization and now comes to the budgeting so first of all we must know what is a budget so budget means it is a financial plan here we are just estimating what is the expenditure what is the income so how much of income i am going to receive and how much of expenditure i have to make on this uh income see if i earn 10000 rupees if i am earning 10000 rupees out of the 10000 rupees what do i plan uh, with this 10000 rupees so i'll plan like uh, 1000 rupees i'm going to buy something for me and 1000 rupees uh, like 2000 rupees i'm going to spend for petrol and uh, 5000 rupees i'm going to save uh, another 1000 rupees i'm going to gift another 1000 rupees i'm going to spend for my children so i have uh, my own plan so just like that like any individual will have their own uh, plan of action for their finances right so here one is planning what is the income like uh, always a human tendency is like generally we see 90% of the people are going to stick on with the income whatever they are going to receive and they are going to spend only that uh, like income whatever they are going to get and only few people will be there like though the income is less for them they want to spend more amount of money so that is not a proper budgeting uh, so one must uh, see that the income and the expenditure is going to equate it okay so budget means one is going to plan their income and expenditure and coming to budgeting so budgeting is a management tool which is going to control the activities of the future so budget is just we are planning what is the income and what is the expenditure budgeting is where it is a management tool for controlling the future activity so this is going to operate uh, for the future activity so now coming to capital budgeting so capital budgeting is uh, really very important for any of the businesses when they are offering for new projects when the project is new so they have to estimate how to budget their capital so how much of uh, amount is there in the hands uh, of the organization as capital and how they are going to plan their capital and how they are going to budget their capital so that is very very important so budget means as we all uh, already know that budget means it is a plan uh, uh, like a plan the details of the projected cash so how much cash flows will be there during that time period is what is budget and capital means the amount of investment which is made on the operating assets is capital uh, which is used for the production and coming to capital budgeting capital budgeting means it is a process of analyzing projects and deciding whether to invest on, on that particular project or do not invest the project 
For example, if you take a small example here, so we have some amount of capital in our hands uh, as a businessman. Okay, when we have that money, so we are just estimating whether we need to invest that amount uh, in the uh, like a plant or not. So to construct this particular uh, this particular uh, plant, we are just uh, like. Uh, uh, thinking whether to invest uh, uh, like to construct this particular uh, like uh, plant or not. So for that what we are going to do is we are going to do or apply certain capital budgeting techniques. So uh, by applying these capital budgeting techniques one can uh, understand whether we are going to invest whether we need to invest or we should not invest in that particular plan. So here this capital budgeting techniques plays very important role in deciding in decision making. So if I invest uh, in this particular plan to construct a particular plan so I'm going to estimate in how much of like in how many years I'm going to get back the original investment. So let us say that uh, this particular plant is uh, uh, like uh, to construct this particular plant, I need some one CR. I need one crore rupees. So this one crore rupees we need to uh, spend or we need to uh, spend one crore rupees and uh, construct this pl uh, plan. So how much of income, how much of cash flows I'm going to get out of this plant after I construct. Let us say like every year I'm going to receive uh, suppose 20, uh, sorry 20 lakh rupees. So I'm going to receive 20 lakh rupees uh, as a profit in this particular plan. So I am going to estimate in how many years I'll get back the one CR amount, whatever I have in, invested to uh, like uh, construct this particular plant. Okay. So here uh, in how many years we are going to get back in within five years, we'll get back our original investment, whatever we, we made to construct this particular plant. Right. So by estimating this, by estimating uh, this, we are going to uh, think whether we need to invest in this particular project or we can take some other project. So uh, I'll, I'll go with some other project where I am going to get another uh, opportunity of constructing a dam or constructing a bridge. So there, if I invest that one CR in constructing a bridge, I'm going to get back my original investment in three years. So which one do I choose? So definitely I'm going to choose the second option where I'm going to construct a bridge. So within three years, I'm going to get this one CR. So the period of time is less, right? So period of time is three years for uh, a bridge. Okay. So three years for a bridge. So that's the reason. Here, the, uh, uh, like uh, when the time duration is less, definitely I opt for this one, right? So this is how a uh, technique will be used uh, like uh, through this capital budgeting so that we are going to estimate uh, uh, like whether to uh, invest in this particular uh, project or we should switch for the another project. And let's know what is the importance of capital budgeting now. Okay. So now uh, this capital budgeting is going to develop and formulate long term strategic goals where uh, like uh, this capital budgeting will make like whether uh, as I was discussing like uh, in how many years I'm going to get back the original investment. So uh, like as we have seen uh, like uh, project A, uh, project one and project two. So project one is constructing a, a plant, uh, like uh, project uh, two is uh, like constructing a bridge, right? So here in which type of project I'm going to uh, invest. Okay, so that is what matters a lot. Here, uh, I, I just simply told that in three years, the bridge will be constructed, but, but again, he need to uh, check for the another project, right? 
So how much of income he is going to uh, receive when we, when he construct a, a bridge and within three years he is going to get back. That is fine. But uh, like he has to switch to another project. So every time he has to uh, search the other projects, right? So here this capital budgeting may, uh, will be uh, like uh, will develop and formulate uh, for the long term strategic goals uh, to achieve the goal okay as because we are estimating before itself that within five years we are going to get back the original investment right so that's the reason here one will uh, uh, like uh, one will work according to the plan which is already made uh, through this techniques of the capital budgeting and uh, this will seek out a, a new investment projects so this is really very very uh, useful for the uh, in new projects uh, which uh, if anyone want to invest in and this is going to estimate what is the future cash flows so here before we enter into a project we are estimating that this can be the income every year so first year we are going to have uh, like uh, as I told like uh, 20 uh, lakh rupees. Second year it can be 30 lakhs. But we are estimating that we are going to get uh, like 20 lakhs in the, in the second year, third year, fourth year and fifth year. Right. So in the, uh, here before we invest in a pro project we are before itself estimating that uh, like uh, this can be the cash inflow of the organization. And this will facilitate for the transfer of information. So the, the information uh, like uh, here before we uh, go into the project, we are just estimating that this can be the uh, information. Uh, this can be the uh, like uh, payback uh, uh, method or payback uh, period of uh, the project. Right. So this is facilitating some uh, information to the public. And this will uh, definitely monitor and control the expenditure uh, so that according to the estimation it has to, uh, it has, uh, to go on according to the plan. And finally, this becomes a basis for creation of the decision making. So now coming to cash budget. So cash budget means here what is the cash inflow and what is the cash outflow. So that is what is uh, like we are going to manage what is the cash inflow means what are the uh, income we are going to receive and what is the expenditure we are going to make. So that is what is the cash uh, inflow and cash outflow. So here uh, cash inflow like uh, here this cash budget is going to represent what is the expected future cash flows of the organization for a period of time for a period of time okay and the cash uh, budget or the cash flows are going to include the cash receipts and cash payments how much of uh, how much of cash receipts are there and what is the amount of cash payments we have to make and that will result in cash balance that will result in cash balance at the end of the period okay so, for example, when we take a, a small Kirana shop, so a shopkeeper is managing a small Kirana shop and he is buying some provisions and he is selling some provisions uh, in, in the market, right? So, when he sells uh, the provisions in the market, uh, like customers are buying and they are paying cash. So, he has to uh, know what is the cash balance available in his uh, cash box, right? So he is just calculating how much of goods he has bought and how much of goods he has sold and how much of uh, uh, money which has to be left over in the cash box that he is estimating, right? So it has to exactly match with the uh, 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 physical cash what is there in the cash box in his uh, like uh, small shop, right? So. Uh, like before uh, he is before he uh, checks with the physical uh, like uh, cash in the cash box he is going to just estimate out of his sales and out of out of his purchases he is estimating this has to be the cash balance in his box at a 
like after one week of uh, his purchases and sales. So before he checks with the physical cash, he is estimating this has to be the cash balance, right? So this is in case of a very small uh, pretty uh, Kirana shop, okay? But when comes to the a big organization, yes, for big organization also, it goes on like that only, okay? He uh, Like uh, there, uh, in a big organization, they are going to buy some raw material and uh, sell the uh, finished product, right? So they are estimating what is the cash amount which is there. And here, uh, there are cash sales and credit sales. If it is cash sales, that is included in cash budget and uh, it is not going to include credit sales. Credit sales means one is selling the uh, provisions or the items or the products uh, to their customers on credit basis, which means uh, that customer is not going to give the cash immediately, but he promises that he is going to pay the cash after some later on date. That is what is credit sales. Okay, that credit sales is not included in the cash budget. Okay, for which cash is not it be, uh, received because cash is not it received. We are not including this credit sales in the cash budget. And coming to expected cash inflow. So expected cash inflow means this is going to take into account all the probable sources uh, from there, uh, from where the company can earn uh, over uh, cash over the budgeted period. And the cash outflow means this is uh, like uh, what is the probable cash outflows during the budgeted period. So if we are budgeting for one year, so within one year, we are going to check like what is the total cash uh, inflows we are going to receive in the first uh, one that is the we are expecting what is the cash inflow and uh, expected cash outflow is we are expecting this is the amount which we are going to uh, like uh, uh, like we are going to spend okay so what is the amount of balance is there in the hands of uh, like in the organization okay so after uh, deducting uh, like cash outflows from cash inflows we'll get the cash balance. So now let's move on with the importance of the cash budget. So cash budget becomes a good mantra for any of the organization because which is very important uh, where uh, one must uh, always manage the cash, right? One must uh, have the working capital in the hands and one must budget the cash. So this is really helpful for making proper planning and managing the uh, cash inflows and outflows. So the next one is like uh, this capital uh, cash budget is going to help in uh, help in uh, identifying the seasonal variations. So like in uh, like uh, when there is peak load uh, season where uh, like uh, there is a more amount of uh, uh, like uh, demand for the uh, product. So then what happens? He has to uh, like uh, uh, like uh, go with more amount of cash uh, uh, outflows because he has to in invest or he has to buy some raw material and all to make the products. So this uh, cash budget is helping in tackling the seasonal uh, variations, and this cash budget also helps us in building the brand because uh, brand value for the organization uh, because all the time uh, this cash budget will help us in uh, like estimating what is the cash inflow and cash outflow right so cash inflow uh, whenever we get the cash inflow immediately we have to focus on cash outflow so to do the continuous productivity and continuous production of the organization so this is how this cash budget is going to helpful uh, uh, any of the organizations. So let's meet in the next next session with features of uh, capital budgeting. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.